We are following some breaking news out of Kenosha. Kenosha police say they are searching for this suspicious person seen at Roosevelt Elementary School. Now, police say that officers are at the school's campus and that everyone is safe right now. The person is no longer at the school, but police are asking anyone if they've seen this person or can identify them to give Kenosha police a call. Now to new information about a death investigation in Milwaukee. According to the county sheriff's office, a person was found unconscious under the I-43 and National Avenue on ramp early this morning. That's near 9th and Mineral. Authorities were unable to revive that person and they were pronounced dead at the scene. Anyone with information is asked to contact the sheriff's office. As soon as we find out any additional details, we'll provide you with an update. And we do have an update on this morning's large structure fire in Delavan. It happened at the Lollipop's Pet Resort. Now, the smoke was so thick it caused nearby roadways to shut down. And according to one of the owners, the hay bar next to the kennel caught fire. No dogs or people were hurt during this fire, and the dogs were moved out of the kennel due to an abundance of caution. So it's good that no one was hurt there. But let's switch on over now to Storm Team 4 with our meteorologist Brendan Johnson. Brendan, people are happy because that sunshine is finally back after some days of just <laughs> really dreary and gloomy weather. Yeah, about four days straight, Adriana. Uh, so here's a live look at American Family Field, where two iconic musicians will take to the stage for one night only. All right, listen to this. Billy Joel and Sting will perform at the baseball stadium on April 26. Now, it's Billy Joel's first time in Milwaukee since performing at American Family Field in 2019. The six-time Grammy winner recently wrapped up his residency at Ma Madison Square Garden in New York City. Now, he will be joined by, in Milwaukee by Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Sting. The two will perform a concert once again for one night only in April. When major artists choose to perform in Milwaukee, it's a testament to Milwaukee's growing status uh, as a location, uh, not just uh, in the United States, but internationally uh, for entertainment. And tickets will go on sale next Friday at 10 a.m. at LiveNation.com, and I'm sure tickets will go fast. And if you are a music lover, then this is the weekend for you. From a Bugs Bunny symphony to the Beatles, Sandy Max from 620 WTMJ Radio breaks down the... All right, welcome back. Well, after six straight losses, the Milwaukee Bucks are spiraling. But lucky for them, we're just seven games into the season. Milwaukee has lost its last two games by a total of just three points, so it doesn't seem impossible to turn things around. But with that being said, this one win Bucks team faces off against the Utah Jazz tonight at home, a team with the same record. This is a positive group. Like We believe we're a really good basketball team that has played poorly, um, you know, at times. And, you know, last two games, you can say we played well and lost the games. Um, this is a big picture thing to this. You know, I think you gave the stat, you know, but then if we win three in a row and we're 500, the stat is that team makes it to the playoffs 100 percent. You know what I mean? It, we're not, this is there's, the worry is outside the building. I guarantee you that there is none inside the building. Yeah, but you got to start winning at some point and the Bucks are looking for their first win at home this season and the first win since the home opener or the season opener, excuse me, tip off against the Jazz from the Pfizer Forum is at seven o'clock tonight. Brendan, thank you for staying with us here at TMJ4 News at noon. Here are some of the top stories that we're following for you this afternoon. Kenosha police say they are searching for this suspicious person. Take a good look at your screen here. This person was seen at Roosevelt uh, Roosevelt elementary school. Police say that officers are on the school's campus and that everyone is safe right now. The person is no longer at the school, but police are still asking if anyone has seen them or can identify them to give police a call. Senator Tammy Baldwin spoke today on her reelection to the U.S. Senate. Voters, uh, Wisconsin voters selected Baldwin over Republican challenger Eric Hovde in a race that came down to the wire. Now, she says she is grateful to continue being, quote, the state's fighter in Washington, D.C. And listen to this. Billy Joel and Sting will perform at American Family Field on April 26. It's Billy Joel's first time in Milwaukee since performing at the ballpark in 2019. Now tickets will go on sale next Friday at 10 a.m. at LiveNation.com. That's going to be a pretty big concert, Brendan. It is. It sure is. 
I gotta maybe let my folks know because they're big they, fans. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're continuing to follow the results of Tuesday's election, the impact it will soon have on local taxpayers, and how that money will change their communities. In southeastern Wisconsin, voters passed 31 of 37 school referendum questions, but when it came to referendums for fire, police, and emergency services, only three of seven passed. And in Waukesha County, residents voted on some pricey school referendums as well. Amy, Donna and Trenton each found themselves on different sides of their vote for their respective districts. Our Waukesha County reporter Kaylee Starl has been following these races and has more about what the results mean for voters. Two referenda here in Waukesha. Well, one of the biggest names in Wisconsin beer is leaving its historic home after more than 150 years. Lining Googles will no longer be produced in Chippewa Falls and changes will also be made right here in Milwaukee. Production at the 10th Street Brewery will shift to the Miller Valley Brewery location in the city. That's where Molson Coors already brews a majority of its Lining Google products. Now, people are expected to lose their jobs or have their positions moved, but it's unclear how many across the two locations. TMJ4 spoke with Jason of Milwaukee Beer Barons, a group of beer lovers and home brewers about this decision. Honestly, I mean, it was like my my college. It was one of the first breweries, craft breweries that got me into craft brewing. It's like almost losing a family member in the in the brewing community. Okay. And we're told both iconic locations will close in January of next year. I am now offering a 40K cash reward for any information or tips that leads to the return of my stolen items. Please. Yeah, Bobby Portis wants his stuff back. The Milwaukee Bucks superstar announcing a $40,000 reward in hopes of tracking down valuables taken during a burglary. Now, this home video shows two suspects breaking into his River Hills home on Saturday night, while Portis and the Bucks hosted the Cleveland Cavaliers at Pfizer Forum. Police are also investigating this break in. Well, to West Dallas now for an update on a dog that was taken by a delivery driver. The 11 month old pup named Bebop is now back with her family. We first told you about the story on Wednesday, showing you video of the dog walking away with a driver when the woman dropped off a package. And after our story aired, the family tells us that the driver had a change of heart and returned Bebop. They tell a TMJ4 that they do not plan to press any charges. Well, 1237 now, and let's take a live look outside. We are finally, finally seeing some sunshine today after days of gloomy weather. And the fall weather is not feeling too bad for us either, but our meteorologist, Brendan. All right, welcome back. Well, if you pay for glasses or contacts, you know it's pretty expensive, and you probably wish that you couldn't see that price tag. People are spending hundreds of dollars on corrective eyewear every year. And consumer reporter John Matteris takes a look at how you can save so you don't waste your money. All right, welcome back. One more story before we go. Travelers at New York's LaGuardia Airport got a furry four legged surprise Monday oh. morning. Take a look at this. It was a raccoon who fell from the ceiling <laughs> near a Spirit Airlines gate. Yeah, video of the critter clinging to that cable was shared on social media. An eyewitness says the raccoon fell and then ran around the area for a few minutes before crews were oh. able to get it outside. Yikes. What a sight to see. I'm sure he was just looking for some overpriced food in that airport. <laughs> <You know, laughs> Something like that. Court, sure. All right, welcome back. Another busy weekend in Milwaukee ahead of us. From a nostalgic look back at the Beatles music to Looney Tunes at a musical concert at the Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra. Orchestra. There is honestly something for everyone th to do this weekend and here to break it all down for us is 620 WTMJ radio host is Sandy Max. Sandy, good afternoon. Let's first start off with the iconic and legendary Beatles. Their music is so beloved and this Saturday in Waukesha, there's an opportunity for music lovers to take a trip down memory lane. And connect it to one of our Wisconsin treasures, Les Paul. That's one of the reasons I'm so excited about this event. I'm a huge Beatles fan. I even took a group of WTMJ fans on a Beatles tour in England last fall. So I'm all in. So I'm very excited about this. The Les Paul Foundation, Sue Baker, uh, I think has kind of put this whole program together. It's a look at how Les Paul is connected with the Beatles. It's called Les Paul and the Beatles, a nostalgic look. And the evening is going to start 
Saturday night at 7 o'clock at this Beatles-themed club called Let It Be. At 7 o'clock, you're going to see a video of Les Paul in conversation with Sir Paul McCartney and a photo montage because Les Paul was an innovator. It's a great celebration of a man who not only is known for his guitar playing, but helping create the electric guitar. And as you can see there, there's now Abbey Road in Waukesha, freshly painted about a half block <laughs> away from Let It Be on Clinton Street. This is at Clinton and South. That's why it's construction workers, fresh paint. So you're going to feel like you're in Liverpool when you go to Let It Be because it's this lovingly replicated cavern club vibe you'll see in the interior here. And so after we watch the video of Les Paul and Sir Paul McCartney chatting, Sue Baker is going to do a whole presentation. Uh, I talked with Sue on What's on Tap last night. She became friends with Les Paul about 10 years before he passed away. That's what it looks like in the Cavern Club inside Let It Be. So this is the perfect environment to explore this connection with the Beatles. And Les Paul, of course, knew George Harrison as well. You have to think with the guitar connections there. And Sue is just a wealth of knowledge. And Les Paul trusted her with the beginnings of the Les Paul Foundation. And she is very specific to the history, not just the legend, but the true legacy of Les Paul. And there's going to be trivia, and there's a band called The Last Bees. And if you rearrange the letters of that band, it spells out the Beatles. Oh. But The Last Bees, they're going to perform from 8 to 9.30 songs by Les Paul and the Beatles. So it really should be a fun celebration. It's called Let It Be in Waukesha. And it's Let It Be LTD to get tickets for Saturday night show. And they're just $20. So I think that's a great price to really, uh, you're going to leave smarter. You're going to learn something about Les Paul and the Beatles that you didn't already know. Yeah, and the pictures that you showed, the ambiance of that bar looks so cool. That's going to be a really great event for those who are attending. I want to talk about this one from the Beatles now to Bugs Bunny and the Looney Tunes. This weekend, there's a chance to see the beloved characters on the big screen, screen but with a twist as the Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra plays the score. What's that about? It's it's called Bugs Bunny at the Symphony, and you can see a little glimpse here. So you're going to see the cartoons on a big screen, which is how they were created in the 1940s and 50s. They, they used to air before movies. So this is really the environment to see them in. Plus, if you think of Merry Melodies and the Looney Tunes cartoons, they almost always had classic music accompanying them. This is from What's Opera, Doc? I can still sing this cartoon. <laughs> I won't do it for you now, but I'm, you know, killed a wabbit. Yeah. That's what this cartoon is. There are 16 cartoons that you're going to see accompanied by the beautiful music of Wagner and Rossini and Johann Strauss. And the conductor, his name is George Doherty. And he is so much fun. I chatted with him yesterday. He just got into town. They're rehearsing today. He loves this show and he's a true maestro, but he's also a cultural historian. He tells anecdotes and stories in between the cartoons about the classical music, about the making of the cartoons. He's just a wealth of knowledge. And it's a great show, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the Bradley Symphony Center on Wisconsin Avenue. I think it's just going to be an absolute kick to see Bugs Bunny, Elmer Fudd, all your favorites on the big screen there. And, of course, Roadrunner. Yeah, seeing that video is kind of bringing back so many memories of the childhood. Exactly. Feeling so nostalgic with that. I was saying good for the whole family. Yeah, Sandy, I got to ask you this real quickly with that big news out of American Family Field, Billy Joel and Sting. What are your thoughts? One night only, a big concert in April. Rock and Roll Hall of Famers, and it's funny, we keep having to say one night only because Billy Joel is so known for his residency at Madison Square Garden for over 100 shows, and I'm a big fan. I got to see Sting at the Riverside, good God, in like 1989, so I've been a big fan for a long time, but Billy Joel, I, I remember the friends I have who went to see him in Lambo singing along to every single song, so I think it's going to be an excellent night of music. That's going to be one of those FOMOs, don't miss out, <laughs> April. The Sting in Spring and Billy Joel, the piano man. Yeah, you got to get your tickets early because you know they're going to go fast. Sandy Max, as always, we appreciate you. Hope you have a good day. And Thanks, you can, Adriana. Bye. And you can listen to What's on Tap with Sandy Max weeks nights at 6 on 620 WTMJ Radio. All right, the time is now 1216, and after some glue.